channel Victoria here if it's your first time stopping by welcome today's video is going to be a foundation video so we're going to be testing out two foundations to basically see if one from the drugstore is a dupe for a higher-end foundation and if it is baby please <laughs> we're going to be saving like a good $40 so that's what we're going to be doing today and let's get right into it <music> So the two foundations that we're going to be trying out are the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation and the NYX Born to Glow Foundation. I discovered the NYX Born to Glow Foundation not too long ago, but apparently it's been out for a long time. And I started to use it and I absolutely love it. I added it to my kit just because it just had such a beautiful finish. Um, and it, it's also very beautiful as well in terms of um, the coverage. And then NARS recently came out with the Light Reflecting Foundation that everyone has been raving about. Also really love it, very light, very glowy on the skin, gives you a nice finish as well, but it's like $56 I believe, and this one is $16, but I got actually got it on sale when it was $6, so you can imagine that huge price difference. So here are the claims of both foundations, just so you guys have a quick read so that way I can just jump right into it. This is what it looks like packaging wise, the NYX just comes in this plastic bottle NARS has their black box and then the actual foundation looks like this in the bottle. So in NARS I have the shade Macau, I believe this is the closest to my skin tone and in the NYX I have the shade Nutmeg. So both are very runny so definitely need to shake them. So I'll start with NARS on my right side and I'll just go in with I think maybe like let's start with two pumps. Flat foundation brush I'm using to blend this out. I actually don't think Macau is my right shade because as you can see it's very orange on me very very orange oh my god <laughs> it's way too dark um okay but this has nothing to do with the actual foundation I just picked the wrong shade but I actually don't know what shade would be my shade then like if this is too orange then because the next one after this is way is even like darker so I don't know but you can see how glowy the foundation is um and the coverage, like I said, is very beautiful. Now on the other side, on my left side, I will use the NYX Born to Glow Foundation. And like I said, this is in shade Nutmeg. So, use one squeeze. All right, so we'll blend this out. You can see this is like a better match to my skin tone, undertone-wise. So this is what the fo both foundations look like on my face. Just pretend like they are the same color. As you can see, they're both super glowy. I would say both of them are about medium coverage, um, but you can all, of course, build on the coverage if you want. I'll just do the rest of my makeup and then come back to show you guys the finished look. And of course, try and balance out this side of my face that looks a little bit orange then we'll do the wear test throughout the day and see if they hold up about the same and also i have oily and i have combination skin just in case anybody was wondering but yeah anyway so i'll be back when my makeup is done and i'll see you guys later okay guys so my makeup is done and obviously <laughs> i had to make sure everything was blended and this is what it looks like so far both sides blended really well with my concealers and powders um, no problem in that area so we'll just see how both of them wear and really see if there's any difference like I said I truly truly believe the formulation is pretty much the same and I think the NYX uh, product is a dupe for the NARS um, I'll just say actually to be honest I kind of think I prefer like when I was blending it out I think I prefer the NYX formula in terms of coverage i think the nyx has a bit more coverage than the nars i'm just shooting like content today nothing too serious I'll check back in with you guys in a few hours and then we'll just do like i guess a comparison see if there's any difference but yeah so i'll see you guys shortly okay okay guys so it's been about maybe four or five hours max max five hours um, and this is what my face is looking like. I made sure I didn't touch up at all throughout the day so that way you guys can kind of see what the foundation really, really looks like after a few hours. Both of them are holding up pretty well. I feel like my smile line 
is a bit more prominent for example on this side which is the side that has the nicks um compared to this side with the nars um but in terms of like glowiness or oiliness i think they're about the same and like i said i have combination skin so yeah and they both lasted just as long like i'm just as shiny in the same areas on both on both sides of my face like i said guys this is a dupe grab it while you can i feel like nyx is discontinuing it discontinuing it <laughs> i'm not too sure but i keep seeing it like on sale but on their website but yeah anyways grab it while you can like i said it's a really really good foundation the next one and nars is also pretty good if you're already like a nars girl stick to nars no problem but you know on days when you don't want to spend your 65 dollar foundation you can just use one that's six dollars you know what i mean and still get like the same effect but yeah anyways this is what it looks like i hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful i'll put a link in the description box for where you guys can purchase the foundations if you're interested and i'll also put my shade names in the description box as well but thank you all so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to thumbs up like and subscribe and i'll see you all in my next one Bye.